Hey guys, welcome to another week. Today we're going to be starting fishing knots, and for that I'm going to need a big ass fish hook. Alright guys, so what we're going to start tying today is the modified clinch knot, and for this you're going to need your monofilament line, which in this case I'm using paracord for that, and I'm trying to use a lighter color paracord so you can see exactly what we're doing with the big fishing hook here. So you're going to go inside the hook eye, and then you're going to start your wraps. So a lot of these fishing knots uh, require wrapping, and something you can do depending on the size and weight of your hook and how much weight is on the line, you can actually take the hook and spin it to get these wraps too, but for the sake of this demonstration, I'll be just actually manually wrapping this. So you're going to pass uh, through the eye, around the back, and then you're going to make approximately five wraps there's no real number, but I like to have five just to start out with. So there's our five. And then you're going to take the working end and you're going to kind of slide down your wraps so it tightens up. And then you'll take that working end and pass it through this loop that was created here in the top of the knot. So right there. And once you get it push through and you get these wraps tightened up. The last step is to take it back through itself here. So right there through the now the standing part of the line and continue tightening up. Just like so. And again with monofilament line this will be kind of easier to to wrap with. But you want to end up with something that looks like that and that is a modified clinch knot. And I will do the last step one more time just because it might have been a little hard to see. So when you're pushing those wraps down, you want to leave yourself a little bit of a gap there just to make sure you can get that line back in. So when you're tightening up, you don't want to go all the way. Just pass that through and through that back side there. And then again, once you get it tightened up, it goes through the standing part there. And then you pull it down Tighten everything up, and that is the modified clinch knot. Stay tuned for a new Knot of the Week every Tuesday, and if you're enjoying what we're doing here on our Knot of the Week series, please consider joining the Crew Leader membership linked below in the description. Thanks for watching.